Hey guys, this is John here with Shadai Graphics. We're going to continue right where we left off last time. We were talking about customizing your workspace, and uh, this is the part where we added we added a lot of stuff over here. Most of these things we will need. Fewer of them, you might never have to charge as you are working. And uh, we're going to continue we'll keep customizing workspace and today I'll to show you how to save your workspace. But before we go there I'd like to tell you that here yeah, I will not have I will not go through all of these tools, but I will show you how to use them these tools right here. Because there are some of them that you might never use, okay? Like from when I, I learned how to use the pen tool, I don't use it that much. It is very, very useful, but in my editing process I don't I don't use it that much. I always find a way to work around it. I don't know for some reason I found it boring. It is a very very useful tool. So uh, the image that you're seeing uh, on the screen uh, it's uh, it's an image of flame text. Uh, in future lessons we are going to see how I did that and we are going to do something uh, something new. I'm well I'm going to be posting also the exercise files of everything that we'll be treating, even the fonts and font types on. Uh, my Google Drive account so that you also can have the exercise files so uh, we're going to proceed right now and uh, we're customizing your workspace uh, let's see if there were any other things in the Windows panel that we did not add uh, I think info is already there history is there histogram histogram isn't histogram is <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think it gives you your color levels, but I almost never look at it. And uh, let's see what else. What else? The navigator is there. The navigator is, is something which is very, very useful. Uh, sometimes you are really zoomed into an image like so, and uh, on the navigator you can you, you can do the, you can move just around this area without having to zoom out and relocate. You see, just by clicking on the red square or rectangular box that you can see over there, and uh, that's how that works. And you have your brushes, which is one of the most useful tools when I started learning Photoshop because I could really put in some effects. And later on, I'll even teach you how to create your own brushes and name them after yourself or create your own brush uh, groups or brush families. And uh, this is your paragraph for your text and character and how you can work with them and we are going to be working with them actively I'm not going to start telling that what oh, this does this this does that but every time we come across anything before clicking on it I will tell you exactly what it does and you will see exactly what it does as I use them in you know and the effects they give so after you've customized your workspace after you've customized your workspace you have made your shortcuts you have put your menus the way you like it, may, it must not be the way mine is after you've customized all of this it's, it is good and you really approve of it and you think this is where you want to be uh, I would like you to know that you may ha have to change it as you work along and you may say maybe I need this I need to alter this shortcut I need to change it for example like I said last time you can change your shortcuts uh, there was a shortcut of control W to close I didn't like it I kept uh, pressing it by mistake I am a bilingual person so uh, there's always this problem of, of switching keyboards between the Azerty keyboard and the, and the English keyboard and the QWERTY keyboard so it's always been quite a, a problem as far as I'm concerned so sometimes I I feel like hitting Control Z and my computer is set to uh, the French keyboard and what I'm hitting is Control W and I start closing things I didn't want to close so I had to take those shortcuts away and put some other shortcuts which I considered more useful okay like I created a shortcut that can transform my pictures into my layers into smart objects I'm going to explain what those are as we work okay I'm not just going to give you things theoretically like I said this is a practical course not a course for you to go and have a certification it is a course to teach you exactly what you need to do when you want to do certain things so uh, when you have done all of this how do you save your workspace if your workspace is the way you like it how do you save it you simply come and click here and you take where, where is that thing new workspace right there you click on new workspace you can save you can name the workspace 
see you click like right there now I'm not going to go ahead and save this because I've already had my workspace and everything that I need saved properly so I'm not going to go ahead but if after saving your workspace you even mess it up completely like I said last time you can come and click on if you are on uh, let's go to my own workspace this is my workspace right here shall I graphics okay and if I mess it up if I mess it up completely I can always come and take reset shadow graphics and it will put it exactly the way I want it you see my workspace the color swatches nothing is here it's just a layer panel okay if I want to see my colors I click right here okay I don't I just like seeing as many layers as possible and uh, I guess that's that for now as far as customizing Photoshop and customizing your workspace is concerned anything else we will see as we work along in our training course and um, that's just about it so uh, have an interesting time working on Photoshop